All right, everybody passed. We're back. Old timer went by and said, huh, that's a pretty cool looking rig you got there. I said, thanks. All right, we're the only one on the bridge. Slump drive, engaged. Look at that drop. That would suck. That would suck. I'm gonna go home quick and clean off my ch chain. Got some squeaky squeaks going on. I had to take my sweatshirt off. I must have set my water bottle down because I just went to grab it out of my uh, cooler bag and it's not there. So that sucks. That sucks. Thinking, what else am I dropping out of my pockets? Lost my water. Not sure how I did that. This is the Friendship House. It's kind of like um, Denny's. I'm not sure if you're familiar with Denny's. You know, it's a family-style restaurant that serves everything 24 hours. Pretty good, but uh, since everything went up in price, I don't choose to go spend my money there. Uh, downtown looks like a shit show. I'm not sure I'm gonna ride it. Oh, I lied. I'm gonna totally ride it. I'm gonna ride downtown. My squeaky squeaks. Squeaky squeaking.
we got the ice cream shop. Never eaten there. Oh, these bumps suck. Yeah, so to finish my story on my trike, my first one was a Cat Trike Speed. I found it on Facebook Marketplace. It was $1,900. Uh, we really didn't want to spend that much on one of these, but I know new ones are like three, four, five, six thousand, eight thousand, whatever. So I took a gamble. At the time, I was going in the winter time, and I had to sell my pontoon boat to raise the funds. But that pontoon boat I got for doing a lawn job, you know, it was an exchange for work. So I really didn't pay anything for it, per se. Just a couple hours labor here and there. Anyhow, sold the pontoon boat, raised the money, and that bike, the only reason I bought it is because it had the electric mid-drive Luna cycle, which is the same as the Bafang. They're identical. 48 volt, 750 amp hour battery with a thumb throttle. And that really intrigued, piqued my interest, we'll say. I didn't know anything about a cat trike speed. I knew it was a trike, and I knew it had electric assist. And I was sold. So, at the time, I just got my uh, Cadillac Escalade EXT pickup truck and drove it. You know, I just got the truck, so I didn't know if it was reliable or not. But I took the risk. I drove to Eau Claire, Wisconsin, Eau Claire, whatever. I met the guy halfway as he came from Minnesota somewhere. So seven hours for me was half hour, half ways. And I got there, I seen the bike, flat tires, couldn't test it. You know, I'm spending 1900 and he was real persistent. Give me the money, give me the money, give me the money. I don't know, it just, it was a red flag. But, I'm a man of my word. He drove to meet me and I drove to meet him and it really didn't matter what the trike was, I was buying it. And that's what I did. I bought the trike. I didn't see if it worked. I didn't know. I didn't know anything. I'm, you know, shit, I'm pretty new to this stuff still. I mean, even though I, this is my second one. So, I bought it. I wasn't happy about it. And, you know, that guy was kind of a weirdo. Anywho, I bought the bike. And then I stored it in my living room for eight months, because that's my winter here, eight months. And I couldn't ride it, just back and forth in the house a little bit, you know, what, five feet? It was two fingers sideways off the ground, so if you take your two fingers and lay them sideways on the ground, that's how high it was. It was super low, which I get. Uh, getting sidetracked. Anyhow, I charged up the battery, filled up the tires. I got it up to 53 miles per hour. And then the front end, the tires were shaking. Crazy shaking, death wobble. And that was it. I had to slow down. But still, 53 miles per hour on a, a bike, man. Crazy. So I rode that bike for a while, and I'm always watching Marketplace, and this bike popped up for sale. So it was in my town, it was kind of meant to be. 
they wanted, I don't know, 900 bucks for it, which I brought with me, but when I got there, same thing, tires are flat, you know, it's hanging in the rafters of the garage, they really didn't put forth any effort to prep it for sale, the seat was cranked all the way forward, I didn't even know if I'd fit on this thing, so... I said, uh, sorry, it's not really what I'm looking for. If you'll take 500 bucks for it, I'll, I'll take it. They looked at each other, and they said, uh, sure, we'll take 500 bucks for it. And they gave me all the paperwork for this bike. This bike is a 2002 Terra Trek Whiz Wheels. She gave me the story... It was built for a Green Bay Packer football player. And that's all she knew. I have the serial number for the bike and all the paperwork. I don't know if I can check to see who originally bought, built the bike, purchased it. So if any of you guys know anything about that stuff, let me know. I might be riding a famous football player bike. Morning. Oh, you can't say good morning. We meet again. A lot of people come here on vacation are pricks. Say good morning on something somebody says good morning. Anyhow, I got this bike. I didn't have a use for my cat trike, so I gave it to my best friend Boomer. Lives in Chicago. And now he has the cat track, and we're home. Ooh, tight squeeze. I'm home. Did you miss me? Yeah. Good answer. I had a feeling went for bike ride. Nice. <laughs>